All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and the Karens are back yet again, and they're telling me that I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to armor inside Destiny 2. They said that I'm a clickbait YouTuber, that the transversive steps from Xur that are a 64 stat roll with high recovery are completely trash, average tier at best. The Karens have roasted me yet again, and so here we are addressing the issue once more. So, on the last video I posted, there's an amazing pair of transversive steps from Xur this week. Definitely get out there, grab those if you haven't already. They are an amazing role. They are an S-tier role. But the people in the comment section didn't agree. The Karens, they said this. Not S-tier, but they're decent. Classic Lucky, saying anything that's moderately good is S-tier. Next, Karen says, this isn't even S-tier. They're B-plus tier at most. Next one says, not S-tier, decent tier. The next comment says, I stopped believing Lucky whenever he says S tier or God roll because it's always an exaggeration for the title of his video. And the next one I'll read, and literally these are just a few that I hand selected, but there are so many of them. I'm starting to think Lucky doesn't know his armor rolls, laugh my ass off. And simply put, I am just baffled by the level of stupidity of people in this game and some of the stupidity that's in the comment section of these videos. These transversive steps are S tier. They are one of the best exotics in the game for your Warlock, and they come with 17 recovery, which is the best stat that you want on your Warlock. Recovery is the best for PvP in general, regardless of what class you play, and on Warlock, it's especially the most important because you get your rifts back faster the higher your recovery is. Not to mention, a 64 stat roll is an insanely good stat roll. I've played this game for thousands of hours, and guess what? Until today, the transversive steps we got today, my roll that I was using in PvP for hundreds of hours in PvP was a 59 stat roll. So I got a plus 5 stat roll just by going to Zur and picking up this boots for 23 legendary shards. These are S tier, and you should definitely not listen to the stupidity in the comment section from time to time, because I could guarantee you the majority of those Karens have no clue what they're talking about. All right, I have five transversive steps on me here. You can see one has 106 stats. You can see one has 76 stats, 74 stats on this one, 106 on this one, 64 stats on this one. I would bet you the majority of those Karens can't tell the difference between any of these transversive steps. But here's the twist. These are all the exact same roll. These are the exact same roll from Xur. But if you put different mods on them, yeah, they look way more insane. Like this one has 106 stats because it has powerful friends on it, which gives you plus 20 mobility. You have an arc mod to proc it, and then you have five intellect. So it looks like it's a really crazy pair of boots. And you're like, oh my God, this 106 stat roll is a hundred times more insane than this 74 stat roll. This one's trash. What do you mean? Like this no, it's the same roll. It's literally the same exact pair of boots. All of these boots right here are the exact same pair. The 76 roll, the 64 roll, and this 106 roll, and this 106 roll are all the exact same pair of boots, just with different mods. And some of them are masterworked and some of them are not. The highest stat that you can possibly roll on a base exotic is a 70. And that is like literally the most rare. I've never even found a 70 pair base of exotic ever. And I play this game every single day and I make videos on this game every single day. The highest pair of exotics I ever found was a 69 stat pair of Stompies just recently. And again, that's after thousands and thousands of hours playing as a hunter in this game. So to just be able to walk up to Xur and pick up a mid 60, a 64 stat roll with 17 recovery, which is amazing on a Dawnblade, especially for PvP right now. Discipline is extremely strong because you want to have a strong grenade and you do need resilience in PvP because you don't want to get destroyed by 120 RPMs by having less than five resilience. This is a crazy good roll. And yeah, it may not have the exact stat distribution you want. Like maybe you want to have 25 recovery and 25 intellect, but that's okay. You can find that in the other armor pieces. It's much easier to find really high rolled legendary armor pieces because they just drop so often. Literally turn in any trials tokens at all and you'll find a ton of them. And any other end game activity drops really high at legendary armor pieces. And when I say really high, I mean pretty much anything that's above a 60 stat roll base is good in this game. And anything that's in mid 60s that has a good stat distribution is an S tier armor piece. I don't know what kind of impossible standards the Karens have in the comments where they think that in order for an armor piece to be S tier, it has to be a perfect stat distribution of 70 stats minimum. But that standard is so ridiculous. It is so unbelievably rare to get armor like that. The majority of you out there are far more casual than me. I mean, literally, I make videos on this game for a living. And I can almost promise you the majority of you will not find armor pieces like that. So make sure you go to Xur and pick up these boots. These are S tier. And to all the Karens in the comments, it's time 
to stop. <laughs>